What's going on there, everybody, and welcome back to some more trucking with Eye Vision. Oh, we are here on a very rainy day. It, it's going to suck, but we got ourselves a mixed tank that we're going to be taking up to San Antonio from Victoria here. So we're going to be heading up onto the 77 to get out of here. So a little bit new stretch of road. And we kind of already saw a little bit of 87 here, but we're going to come on down here and uh, we'll pass all of this. We're actually going to come around this way on San Antonio. So we're going to kind of miss a little bit of this, uh, but that should be okay. And then we're going to kind of come up onto the 35, catch the 35 here. And then we're going to come on down. We're going to check out what we got going on over here as well. Nice little viewpoint. And then we're going to come over and drop off and we have another viewpoint. So a little bit long here, 300 miles, roughly by a set time. It's all said and done. We're going to miss this little stretch here and then this little roundabout here, but we might be able to catch some of this up as we head out of town to go to Junction or wherever we get to next. So there's still some room to make up for some of this. Um, we're just going to kind of go with what we got for now, but we're going to get going because it's so rainy out. You know, we don't want to be stuck outside for too long. It is very early, though. It's about 730 in the morning. So have, uh, have the whole day ahead of us. So hopefully the weather kind of clears up a little bit once we get closer to San Antonio so that way we can see some things um, but we'll uh, we'll see what kind of happens here uh, but there's some cool things there there's uh, a Kenworth truck dealership I believe in San Antonio um, so most likely what we're going to do is we'll be swapping that swapping out the Western Star here for a Kenworth as we kind of go about our our journey uh, let's see oh, can't go yet now we can go <laughs> Oh, that would have been bad. Would have been bad. This, is, this feels like a really heavy load. Um, and we already know the brakes on this truck are not the greatest. Uh, it's only 15,000 pounds. All right, well, that's, that's really nothing. Oh, my God, the brakes. Oh, they are something else on this bad boy. I'm going to have to be a lot more careful on my drives. Uh, so that way we're not... We're not causing any problems. I mean, she takes off pretty good. She takes off pretty good, which I expect her to, with only 15,000 pounds back there. Must be empty, uh, but whatever. I do wish the lights did a little bit more on the road, but you know, that's something we just kind of got to live with here as we go about our journey. But here we are getting up onto the 77 on our way, so. 45 is the ramp speed here. So we're gonna be gonna be heading on right so we don't get on over to this lane and we'll have some fun. There's that Texas Roadhouse. It's wonderful. There she is. Makes sense, right? We are in Texas. Alright, let's see. We're good. Yeah. Uh, yeah we're, good. yeah, we're good. We are good. Oh, yeah, see, it's already starting to clear up. Not even out of Victoria yet. We're starting to get some nice sun, so that's great. That'll make the rest of this drive very beautiful. Please slow down. <laughs> I'm, like, pounding on the brakes, and I'm just not 100% sure what she's doing. Just like, are you slowing down? You're not slowing down. It's not like a race car here where you can really just punch her. All right, here we go. Back at it again. On the road again. What's uh? This guy looks like he's kind of sticking out here a little bit. That's not good. Man, I was just it's a little too close for comfort there. A little too close for comfort on that one. But hey, we got out of there. Why are we not getting this road marked off? What? I'm confused. What am I missing here? What am I missing? Oh well. We don't need to go on one of them tirades, that's for sure. Um but yeah, we'll see what we get here. I'm excited for San Antonio. I'm super excited. 
Let's see, like, I, look at this. Now this is, ah, whatever. Whatever. But yeah, I'm super excited for San Antonio. Wish they would kind of, I don't know if they'll show, if you can see, like, the river walk. That'd be really cool. Oh, uh, let's see, we gotta get over. And everybody's slowing down here. Why? We're not even doing the speed limit, and we're, like, gaining really close to these guys. I'm not really sure. Hopefully there's no, like, turnoffs. That would be... That would not be good for us. You know, those cars, they'll stop on a dime. Yeah, a couple of flags over here. Interesting. Couldn't tell what that was. Couldn't tell what that was a sign for. Nope. 35 coming up. Ooh, work zone. We're in a work zone. Oh, that's extended the road here. Nice. I like the road construction um, assets that they have for Texas here. Some really cool ones. You know, like they had that bridge there in... Hmm... Is that Browns? Brownsville they had the, the bridge? Now I can't remember. We were just there too recently. We were just there. This is slow going though. Look at this road. Interesting. It's kind of cool. Alright, let's go. 19 feet 8 inches. I don't know what our height is. Probably should know. It would be good, right? All right, buddy, you can do it. Uh, now we got a stoplight here. All right, we're staying in this lane. So we got to go left anyhow, so. We'll just stay right here. Would have been nice if we could have gotten a green right away. So we got a little momentum. Ooh, maybe. I don't know how long that yellow light is. Uh, of course. Of course, it would give us the, the green turn arrow first with this tank, though. Now that it's it's gotten to be sunny, you can kind of see some things here. How beautiful that is. She takes up a lot on the trailer. Takes up quite a bit here, but leaves a little bit of room as well. A little bit of room here. We can throw like a little forklift or something back there. Oh. Hmm. Oh, man, we're already slowing down again. For this light, no turn, no left turn here. Not at this light. Smith Transport. How oh, nice. He's going right. See you later. Go, Smith. Okay, come on. Oof. He just ran a red. That guy just ran a red light. I saw that. And he did too. What the? Well, what is that? They just ran two cars. Just ran two red, uh, red light there. What was that? What was that all about? Unbelievable. That is some some craziness. I wonder if I could have went then. I should have tried it, but I didn't want to. We didn't want to be. We don't want to be fined here. You know, we're trying to make some money. Not trying to lose all our money. Not that we need it. We've got plenty. we got plenty of money here. How you doing there, ATS Inc.? Let's look at your truck. Oh, okay. Getting all, all up in there. It's very, uh... Trying to think of that word there. Flat. It's very flat paint. Alright, can we... Can we go yet? Come on. Man, the lights seem like they take forever. There we go. Look at that. Oh, little curb action there. That doesn't hurt anybody. Alright, that don't hurt nobody. Alright, let's get back in the cab. Here. As we're getting on Interstate 10. Very nice. Interstate 10, here we come. We've been on Interstate 10 before. Lots of places, lots of places. Then we got like Interstate 35 later on. We've been on that as well. Um, it'll be good. 35 goes up. So 
That one goes all the way north, so that'll be fun. Goes all the way north up into uh, Minnesota there. Uh, and let's see, what else do we got? Anything else? Anything crazy going on? SES has been... Like, what are we... Probably next month, we're, we're going to have the next state, which will be crazy because we've got so much in Texas yet to do. So I'm really going to be behind. Um, Texas is definitely making me behind. We might have to start going with, like, two videos a week. Uh, just might have to do that, but we'll see what happens. See what we decide to do there. Because, uh, yeah, that'll be... That'll be different, you know. I've never been this, you know, when the, when the next map comes out, like, I've never been that far behind. But because Texas is so big, I am really far behind. Um, so that's going to be... It's one of those things. I don't know why it wanted us to go through the rest area. That just seems weird. I was just hoping that we could continue to go around this guy, but the truck for some reason like slowed down. I don't know what happened there. It's like we hit like a wall and she just wouldn't gain any more speed. Obviously now we're not going to her at 65, which we are governed by because of our world of trucks all here. Uh, I don't know what that first part said. End, end something. End of the something. Alright, come on. Pass Mr. Hay Haywood here. This will be great. Well, looking forward to this here. Getting around the bend. And let's see. There we go. That's beautiful. Very well done. That's very meticulous. Meticulous? I don't even know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It work. Went up to Anchorman Road. San Antonio should be coming up not too far from now. Slow down or pay up. End the streak. Texas. That's that's what it said. End the streak, Texas. Oh, more road construction. How wonderful. More road construction. Ooh, so we need to get down there. San Antonio discovered. Alright, let's see if we can... Let's check the map again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we want to come down here because we want to check out the the dealer and then we'll get back on and then we'll we'll continue over. We'll find out what that is. Yep. OK, we're good. Yeah, we want to get off here. So San Antonio has been discovered. So that's good. Yeah. And that should be just the kind of dealership right over there that we're just going to grab real quick. But we'll go do that and then we'll get back right on the interstate here. Uh, if you need a uh, big gold truck stop, what do we got here? A flying J. Nice. Flying J. All right, we don't want to go. We don't want to use the turnaround. We're gonna actually use the main main turnabout here because we're actually gonna go on that frontage road. So we'll come this way. Like this. I mean, technically, we could have probably seen it that way, but I want to make sure we get it kind of cleared off on the on the map. That's then we got a Petro over here as well. There we go. What else do we got? We got some scales. If you got to hit the scales, sec oh, for a second there, that looked like that trailer had caught fire. So, all right, this is gonna be this could be tough. We gotta get the dealer and then get right back on. So let's see if we can do this here. Let's see if it'll... There it goes. So it gave me the dealership. So there it is. Kenworth the dealership here in San Antonio. And then we're going to hop. Actually, we're not going to hop on. But we are going to get over. There should be another turnabout. I'm hoping. Oh, I'm hoping we're not going to be on this for too, too long. Guess we're gonna find out here. Didn't really think about this. I would, my assumption was that they can't drive you down too far. All right, because they, yeah, there it is. Because they wouldn't want this kind of road going all the way down. I mean, theoretically, it probably goes down a good distance, but yeah. So that would have been, oof. 
That would have been crazy. All right. And there's not a ton of traffic over here either, so this is gonna be perfect. We'll be getting on again real quickly. Oof. Cutting these corners really tight there on those left-hand turns. But it's all right. All right, so you've got off to get back on. I'm confused. I mean, I guess they could be going straight. I guess they could be going straight. We'll follow them for a bit here, but we're going to be getting on ourselves, so. Won't be going as far. It's cruising. But look at this. We're getting all this kind of accomplished here as well as we, as we go on. All right, so let's see, I think. I think we have to go through the stoplight again, though. Once we get off of the stoplight, then we have to go through before we can jump back on, so. Uh, we'll see, well, yep. That's what it looks like it is. Yeah, and we're good, there's nobody there. And, yeah. So we're going to have to go through. It's going to have a stay on here. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could. We could just stay on it on this road. We don't need to actually get off. It isn't the, the end of the world. You know, at the end of the day, we were either just going to get the highway there and not the frontage road. But in this case, we could just get the frontage road and not the highway. And then when we come driving through again at some point, we just grab the highway. But, but which does remind me, like, they're doing more re, uh, reworking of California. Like, it's like phase three or that they're on, I think. And there's so many new roads to check out that I don't know. Like, I got to, go, like, go back through or something, I think, to... To make sure I grab all the new roads. Otherwise, we're just going to keep missing a ton of stuff. And we don't want to do that, obviously. So, I got to figure out what I'm going to do there. Because we probably should go back through some states. To try and see if we can get uh, some of the roads marked off that we just haven't been on yet. Um, a lot of the time, it's usually like this, the secondary roads. Like, you know, the back roads and whatnot. Other times it was, you know, we wanted to get a certain viewpoint or whatever, so we took that back, that, um, that extra windy road instead of the main road. So, yeah, we got a lot of stuff we got. It kind of got figured out. Um, but it's tough, right? Like, when states are coming out and start falling behind, it's harder to go back and do some of that um, for recordings. Obviously, like, off-camera and stuff, it's not as bad. Um, but it obviously throws things off when we do that. Oh well, we just need, there we go, there's our arrow. What are we looking for? There we go. That's good. All right, so this is going to be on the right here, but I think I'm going to stay on the left. Uh, actually, we're going to get over because I want to mark it. I think it's just a recruiting agency um, would be my guess of what we got here. But there's a Coca-Cola distributor here on our right or on our left that we could use. Um, oh, yeah, there it is. I was like, what am I hang on here? There it is. Recruitment agency discovered. So that's great. So we're going to come in and uh, we're going to use the Coca-Cola facility to kind of turn around. And then we'll uh, come back out of here. And else we could, and we might be able to do a quick little UE right, in, right around here. We'll see. We'll give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. If not, I feel like it's not going to work out too well, then we'll, uh, then we'll do the Coca-Cola facility. Because it's right down the road there. But there's not much. There's cars behind us. Ah, there's cars behind us. So, yeah, we'll just go down to Coca Cola and then we'll 
we'll zip back. It's, it's fine. It's a little annoying, but it's not the end of the world here. We could pull into this place too. What is this? Center. Is this the AT&T Center? I wonder. I bet you this is. I bet you this is where the Spurs play. It's got to be. Oh, it's got to be where the Spurs play. That's so cool. I could be wrong, you know, because they just named it Center, um, obviously for licensing purposes. But if that, I mean, if that is it, that's so cool. All right, uh, Coca-Cola is on the left here. Yeah, that's really cool. All right, let's get in here. We're going to go before these cars come in. Sorry. <laughs> Suckers. All right. Um, how much of a yard do you guys got? Can I zip this thing around in here? Oh, yeah. Well, this. this will be perfect. Look at all these Coca-Cola trailers. Oh, 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 that's cool. Somebody's honking. I don't know where that's coming from there. All right, we'll see you guys later. We just made a wrong turn. <laughs> oh, that's cool. All right, a lot of traffic over here. Kind of sucks having that fence. It's hard to see. Hard to see what's going on around there. Well, let's get going. Very, very nice. And we're going to turn left here where this car is. Mm, do we get the turn arrow, please? Nope. The turn arrow comes first around here. That's okay. We're going to check out the AT&T Center here. That's cool. If somebody thinks it's something else, I'm, I'm all for it. But I'm, man, that really kind of does look like it. Very old, very old there, but it's got some history. All right, here we go. All right, we got a right turn coming up, and we're back on track here. So, yeah, this is going long. This is gonna be a really long one with all of the stuff that we're kind of doing for sightseeing. Um, but that's okay. I, I'm Totally fine with it. I knew this was going to happen, right? Because just how big Texas is. But then some of these cities are just so massive. There's a lot to see. And I want to show you guys as much as possible. Obviously, as we're going through doing these. So don't want to miss too much. But we got a ways to go. Once we get back onto that freeway there, we should be good. Should be good for a little bit there. And then we got those two viewpoints. So that'll be a little crazy. As long as we don't get into up into Austin there, hopefully we don't. Um, that's going to be the one thing I don't know. Because it's hard to tell with how close everything can be. Um, where one city stops and the next one kind of begins. I wish they could kind of use some, some sort of lines there. So you kind of know. Like, oh, this is, you know, this is the city now or whatnot. You know, the city limits. That would be kind of cool, but obviously that would probably make the map look a little, little too clustered and I don't think they want to do that. So don't want to make it harder for everybody. Obviously we want to make it easier. Uh, and of course this guy doesn't want to turn right. They want to be that guy. Unbelievable. All right, well, you can be that guy. Hello there. Oh, there goes that truck. All right, here we go. Getting to the uh, the left lane here. So we're jumping on and we can't go straight anymore anyhow. So off we go. Back onto Interstate 10. So we didn't miss too much of Interstate 10 there. Just a, just a little chunk. 
Just a little chunk. Yo. Look at this. See, like, in all this now, it gives us all of this. Unbelievable. Mm. Alright, let's see. What else do we got coming up here? You can see, like, the city skyline. Oh, that's my hope there. You can see the city skyline get a nice little picture with the truck in there. I think that'd be great. Uh, but we'll see what we get here. It's an exit only. But that's okay, because we are getting off here. Oh, look at that. What is this building? Huh. I don't know what that building is, but that's cool. And then we should have a nice little photo opportunity coming up there. There she is. Let's see if we can get the truck up the uh, the hill here. What is this place? Not really sure what that place is. But let's see what we can do for a photo op. All right, so that was the Tower of America's over there. We got downtown San Antonio over here. Uh, beautiful that is. This city. Oh, we're going towards Austin, so we're gonna kind of keep it to the right. Nothing wrong with that. Hopefully we just don't go, like I said, don't go too far because I'm not trying to get into Austin today. So hopefully that's that's not the case. But if it is, you know it is. You know, can't always help everything that we do, but like I said, trying to get you guys to see as much as possible. On the flip side, we won't be going to Austin anyhow next time, um, just because of how we got things. At least in my mind, planned out. So we'll see there. I'll get over once more. Good thing we weren't speeding. All right, what we got? Oh, a Holiday Inn. Got a repair center down there. It's like a BP as well. A little hard to see on that side. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else. Too crazy was it? Kind of looks like a. Hmm. I was gonna say a double tree, but I don't know. Hard to say. Wish there was a sign there. And if there was, I missed it. Uh, yeah, we're starting to get kind of crazy out there for a Saint Antonio delivery, but oh well. Cause yeah, like. I would assume that this probably now kind of kind of looking at it that this is kind of like the edge of San Antonio but I guess I don't know you know to know hello there Mr. Popo how you doing hmm yeah I feel like we're getting into Austin territory now but oh well that's fine. It's going to be like really close, I think, right on the edge there. Right on the edge. If I could get over, though, if possible. Let's see here. There we go. Take the middle lane. Take this for a bit, and then we can get over once more. Once we kind of get a little bit more separation there. Because we should be getting off on our right shortly here. I would assume. I guess I don't know, but yeah, there's, see, I think we're coming up into Austin. It's very, very close. <laughs> but it kind of looks like the Austin skyline. So. Yeah, see, yep. We did get into Austin. Oopsies, I thought it was a little close, but that's okay. We could get a little two for one today. A little two for one. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, no matter what, like if we would have taken the original route that the GPS would have wanted us to go, um, we would have been coming into um We 
we would have been getting Austin anyhow, so this kind of works out. This kind of works out. All right, we need to get over. We're going to go and check this out. Um, see what we got there. It looks like a Fovel truck dealership um, is over here. So that's kind of cool. We're not going to get it checked off the box. Um, kind of just let it go. Oh, it gave it to us. So, man, that's fine. Um, we'll hit the viewpoint up, though, still. And uh, it'll probably be, obviously, the city of Austin view, but that's all right. Nothing wrong with that. So a little bit extra on this journey today. There it is. Get rid of the engine there and see what we got. The city of Austin, of course. So yeah, that's fine. We can check out the cool things that Austin has as we, before we get on our way back into San Antonio. But club bowling how nice I've, i mean i want to go bowling thought about it last uh prior weekend too but hasn't been uh i don't know that's as far as i've gotten with it it's just thinking about it <laughs> beautiful interstates though very very beautiful Anything crazy going? I mean, the road roadway's crazy, just the way it goes for crossing everything. But there's the beautiful city skyline there. Oh, a little cemetery. Okay, interesting. Interesting to show off. All right, let's get going. We gotta get this delivered. All right, we're we're cutting into our time. Good thing we've got ourselves a world world of trucks contract here, because in-game contract we would have been so far behind with the weight delivery that this would not be good. Would not be good at all. But in this case, we are a-okay. -okay. Plus, we're getting a lot of road covered. I think uh, when I first started, I was at like 55% road coverage. Um, so hopefully after this, you know, I'll kind of get up to like 57%. But who knows? Who knows what we'll actually get there? Oh, it looks like a train. A train back there. All right. Get, get on the highway, go back and see what we've already checked off the list. And we're actually going to... Yeah, we're not going to turn right at the first one. We're, or, yeah, we're going to turn right at the first one here. Because it's going to be the same exact thing. So, I don't know why. Actually, we didn't even see that because that's the highway. Never mind. That's why we couldn't turn there. It's not for us. It's the highway. All right. Now we're good. Get back on. Get this road checked off. And away we go. All right. That's beautiful. Nice little, nice little journey for us, right? Nice little side side bonus there two cities in one and like i said we're gonna come obviously we're coming back to austin um we're not gonna just not go to austin so don't think that we're gonna pass it up at some point but because we're not now we probably aren't going to do the viewpoint though again um i'll have to rethink about that how that's gonna work but we don't really run into that situation too often I try not to have that occur, but you know, sometimes stuff happens and you get the bonus effect. But then later on, it's like, do you get screwed? I don't know. Something to think about as we continue on. But, and who knows, maybe by the time we get to Austin, they change up Texas a little bit and they get rid of that viewpoint. So, hey, 
give us a new one. I don't know. Uh, just thinking crazy things. But we got the barbecue bacon burger. Nice at Wendy's. Uh, Wendy's kind of like hit or miss for me on like if Wendy's is, is good. But it's a nice little mix up, but there's times where I'm like, this is not, not that good. And there's other times like, all right, it's solid. You know, this is what I was hoping for. All right. I don't recall after we go through all of this, if we still have more road to or more journey to get to before we can get this load delivered. Um, probably should check the map, though, and see. See what we're looking at here. Oh, no, our delivery's up there, so yeah, we're good. We are good. Another Texas Roadhouse. They got a couple here in San Antonio. It's real special. They are popular. They are popular, that's for sure. All right. McDonald's, very nice. Just wanted to make sure we weren't getting the green arrow. Um, Cause that would have been our thing. The one time we don't think we're getting a green afterwards, it gives us the green. But nope, we're good. Not the case. So that's great. Come on. You can change though any day now. Any day, there it is. There it is. And there we go. Beautiful. Oh, that was a perfect night's turn. I like that one. That one worked out worked out really nice. That was beautiful. We'll see how this right hand turn comes. As we make our way into the unknowns of the outskirts. This is very much the outskirts, that's for sure. There it is. Ooh, we took that so wide. That was super wide. That was not good. <laughs> that one was that was not good. I try. We should do like a rating of like my turns. Just kind of track them and see how it is. Are they good? Are they bad? You know, I don't know. Do we like a five five point oh scale? Like I don't know what we got going on. I hear something out here, but bump. Oh, nope, not really. Um. Stop sign though. But we're gonna be coming up into the Newmont facility. That's cool. I didn't see. I feel like we are missing a viewpoint for San Antonio. Um, I guess we're going to see what this one looks like, but it would be strange if they have the viewpoint way out here in the cities way over there. But, you know, can only do so much, I guess. Right. So maybe they just didn't want one for San Antonio. I'll have to double check, though, but I'm pretty sure. This is the only viewpoint in San Antonio. So whatever it wants to show us is what we're getting. Now, just where is it though? There it is. I was like, oh, am I missing this thing or what? All right, let's see what we got here. All right. Quarry, yep, it's the quarry. Interesting. I'm going to have to double check that because I feel like we should have gotten a viewpoint for the city of San Antonio. But I mean, the quarries are cool, too, because they had another uh, viewpoint in a quarry. And it was really neat. I wish I could have looked at that. At that water again, because it looked like it was like a still of the water just kind of pouring out instead of like actual movement. Which would just which would be different. It'd be awkward. Why well, they just make it flowing? Ah, choo-choo train, filling it up, filling up those rail cars. That's great. I like that. That's cool. That's that's different than the last one. I don't recall that at the last quarry that I saw. And everything else is looking good. They got the big trucks, obviously. We should deliver a, a big truck. You know. Get the truck without the wheels on it. Uh, 
the way the train cars are right now, it makes me feel like um, one of them coal trains pulling up to the power plant. And they got like the horseshoe for the cars, but... So there we are, that was the quarry. Yeah, before I drop this, I'm definitely going to check the viewpoints again. Um, just to make sure there actually wasn't one for San Antonio that we missed. Because if there is, we'll definitely want to kind of check that on the way out. Um, but yeah, I don't think I did. I'm like 90% positive that I didn't. Because I normally look at those, but you know, stuff happens sometimes. There's a lot going on. A lot going on, and sometimes I might not miss, you know, I might miss a click when doing, setting up the GPS for the day. So, all right, where do you want her? Straight ahead, huh? Just like right there. Interesting. Oh. We just got bounced. Are we too tall? Oh, we are. Ah, ha, ha, we are too tall. Okay. Well, that's new. Okay. We learned something there. This will make this job a little bit more challenging um, than what I was expecting. But that's fine. Interesting there. Yeah, that, that bounced us so hard. I was like, what the? Thought maybe we got the side, but nope. It's just. We're too tall. We are too tall. Alright, there she is. Let's kind of try and straighten this guy out a little bit here. There we go. Beautiful. Let's get out take a peek at her. Oh, yeah. She looks pretty good. She looks pretty good. I like her there. Let's check the map real quick. Like, I want to see what we got for San Antonio just to make sure that we didn't miss a viewpoint. And yeah, we didn't really miss anything because coming in, there's really, there's nothing. So there's that little photo spot, you know. Yeah, there's nothing there. So we definitely, definitely didn't miss any, any viewpoints. So yeah, it's a shame that they didn't have another one for San Antonio. I really would have liked to have one for the, for the city, but you know, it is what it is. But that's going to do it for us. This time we got our mixed tank delivered. We got to see the quarter. We got a little bonus going to Austin as well. We got the kind of order at the dealership as well in San Antonio. So next time we're going to change on our truck. We're going to get back into a Kenworth um, as we kind of drive the rest of the way through Texas. The Western Star has been great. I've enjoyed this truck. Um, but it's time to kind of change it up and get something new. So that's going to do it for us this time, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope to catch you all next time with some more Trucking with Eye Vision. Uh -oh.